guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. This is something so different. I am getting ready for an event tonight and I thought, you know what? Everybody wants to know how I do my makeup and all that kind of stuff, what products I use. So what better way than to film it? And I've got some time. Usually I don't have a whole heck of a lot of time. So, hi Sierra, right there, that's my dog. She's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I, I typically don't have a heck of a lot of time. I'm just like, rah, and run out the door. I don't even have time to clean my brushes after, let's be real. So, uh, there's that. Excuse you. She's hyper right now. Super hyper. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna disclose that all of this is sponsored by the carry camp that's me that's right i bought all of this all by myself i don't know what's going on with my dog she's going a little crazy um but yeah all of it is purchased with my own dineros so i'm super excited to show you what my favorite products are and you know She's a husky, she doesn't like to listen. Kind of like Scott. <laughs> What's going on? Go get a toy. Where's your toys? Go. Yeah, see? Oh, see? She brought the toy. She is hyper. That's right. Okay, so um, yeah, that's enough of the intro. I am ready to get to doing my makeup. Let's do it. <laughs> all right, so uh, let's get nice and close. <sighs> okay, here I am. Uh, I want to also preface with the fact that this is all natural light. This is not in studio or anything like that. I'm literally just sitting in front of my beautiful floor to ceiling windows. So um, the first product is moisturizer. This one, Clarins. Oh, come on. How do you do this? There we go, Clarins. Um, I've been using this moisturizer for probably like the last year and have noticed a huge difference um, in like the texture of my skin. Like it's so much softer. Right now it's dry AF because um, yeah, it's cold outside. I live in Canada, so there's that. But that is the first product I put on is always a moisturizer. You should always, always, always use a moisturizer. <sighs> I'm actually using my camera for the first time, so I'm sorry if I look over that way. It's because right there is my um, viewfinder. So I just want to make sure that I'm in focus and all that kind of stuff. So I might be looking over there. I also have a mirror down here. So if I need to use a mirror at any time, I might just look down and it's right there. Looks like I had a gray hair there. It's gone. It was just moisturizer. Thank you. All right, so that's done. Next, we're gonna prime our face. I use the Smashbox Photo Finisher Primer. They just actually changed. I've been using this primer for actually quite a long time as well because it's a little bit more textured so um, I just put like little dabs on my face. They actually just changed, I was gonna say, the packaging. So um, they might have changed the formula. It doesn't feel any different. They probably just put less product in there, let's be real. Supply and demand, that whole like thing, right? I don't care, it works. So I just buy it, that's what I do. But it goes all over my face. Oh, it feels so good just to rub your eyes and your face. I don't even know if I'm supposed to put it on my eyes. That's okay. Bada boom. Okay, so next I primed foundation. Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in uh, 3N1. What's way? There we go. 3N1. So this one is actually brand new. I just bought it. Um, this is the third one that I've gone through. I just switched over like last year or the year before. So it's where it's at. So what I do is I grab my beauty blender. Ta-da! 
but I mean, I've tried to, Sierra, I'm trying to do makeup here. She's still going crazy. Um, yeah, I dampened. <laughs> this is, it's so distracting having her go crazy in the background. Uh, for me, I don't know, maybe it's distracting for you. Anyway, back to the show. Uh, my damp beauty blender. I did just wash it, but I'm not gonna lie, I have, it's like my makeup brushes. Sometimes I just don't have the time. So I put that much on and I just go boop, 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 boop. You gotta make those noises too or else it doesn't go on right. You know? Okay, enough of being goofy. And I literally put it all over my face, on my lid, everywhere there is skin. This double chin, that is a rhyme. Okay, I am in like a crazy hyper mood. So you're welcome. Um, I feel like it's getting like darker in here. I don't know, maybe the sun is like shifting. Oh, it's going behind the building. <sighs> I apologize if it gets darker. Gotta love that natural light. And I live like downtown Toronto where there's a lot of high buildings. Even though I'm like high up, I literally like, I'm kitty corner from the largest, uh, the tallest, condo in Toronto so the sunlight goes behind there and then it comes out again then I get the sun again later on but I can't wait until later on to do my makeup so you get this I am sorry okay so I put it all over my face great I make sure like in the corners and stuff I'm gonna show you actually on this eye you can see like there's those little lines and on this eye I just got rid of them so I just go in and like I apply a little bit more pressure just to get those little lines and creases out even though they will crease up here because I got wrinkles! Wrinkles I got. Beauty marks. Beauty marks. I forgot to do my eyebrows. I just noticed that. Hmm. Huh. I should probably go and do that right now. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I went and did my eyebrows. <laughs> uh, or like got them did because mm -hmm. I definitely don't do my own eyebrows. So I like took off all my makeup and then reapplied it. So here we are back at foundation. So I just reapplied my foundation. Look at these beautifully sculpted eyebrows, no hair on the lips and the chins, yay for me. And it wasn't actually until I like looked down when the sunlight was coming in and I seen like the little baby chin hairs. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I was like, oh, I totally forgot to do that. Whew. Yeah, that's what happens when you have blonde hair. You don't see it until it's like in the light. All right, so I always like make sure that I go over my foundation quite a bit and I go like typically down to about my collarbone um, Today it looks like I'm wearing a off-the-shoulder dress So I'm likely going to foundation at least like around here and like contour it and highlight it So that you don't see all like I have a bunch of sunspots and stuff from when I was a child and was like, I don't need to wear sunscreen. <laughs> ah, yes. Okay, so there's that. Foundation is done. And now um, I'm going to go in with concealer. And basically, uh, I use the, sorry, I use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It's the best concealer out there. Good stuff. And I use uh, Light Neutral is the shade I use. All right, so I go under the eye, make a little thing, go under this eye, make a little thing, the bridge of my nose, a little bit up here, the tip of my nose, on my, I always like put my lip a little bit 
and I put it on there. I go on my chin a little bit, grab a little bit more. And then I also, like, I have these smile lines. See? So I also just like to go just inside there. Just nice and lightly. Don't need too much. And this is the last step, just because there's not a lot of product on here. So as you can see, it's just nice and light. Just along there. And yeah. I like this to be a little bit brighter, this to be a little bit brighter. All right. And then you take your beauty blender again, but this time I use the pointy side and I move that under the eye just like so. This is like nothing new. Like when it comes to makeup stuff, I just like pray <laughs> that it goes on right. Um, but like, I've learned from YouTube, just like, hopefully you're learning right now, I don't know. <laughs> but this is what I do for like events. I do a much lower um, rendition of this for like your big sister's closet and stuff, um, just because usually I'm in a hurry. This time I'm actually like taking my time and doing it right so that it looks perfect. All right, because like at your big sister's closet, they don't like get too close to the face where and use like a super bright highlighted um, like flash on their camera. So I don't, you don't need to wear as much when um, you're just doing like no flash activities like going to a wedding and stuff. Unless you're in the wedding party, then you need to uh, do like take your time and do a lot more like I'm doing today but like when you're just going out with a bunch of girlfriends and y'all are just gonna be taking like selfie pictures with no um, no flash or anything like that it's once you get into the flash photography that you've really got to do all of this oh Laura Mercier translucent powder oh, just like that I'm getting powder everywhere because I just did that but that's okay and I literally some people I used to actually bake underneath my eyes and I quit doing that because it became cakey. Why did it become cakey? Well, when you add um, a lot of powder like this to a fresh foundation and fresh um, concealer, it makes a batter. It's like adding like water and flour. You get like this like batter substance. And so it just looked really cakey so um, I started really putting it in. So now I used, like, this side dried out. This is the side that I was using. So now I use the opposite side just to, like, really set in that powder. <laughs> um, I use it really just to set in that powder. Make her, make her look great. All right. Foundation is on and I'm going to start with my eyes. So, I used the same sharp, sharp tape. It's not sharp tape. It is tart shape tape. They need to uh, rename that now because I'm never going to look at this the same. Yep, pretty much. Anyway, I put the concealer on the lid. I wonder how many people have actually done that and edited it out. I'm not editing that out. Mm -mm. Y'all are going to hear me say shark tape. <laughs> ah, so funny. All right. So the concealer, throwing that on. When it comes to makeup, y'all, your eyes are the most important thing. I like, honestly, I could do the exact same thing with the rest of my face. If I do something different with my eyes, every time you notice it. If I wear um, a darker eyeliner underneath or like a deeper um, smoky eye, people are like, oh my God, your makeup looks so good. And like they notice it. Whereas if I do like a deeper contour or like highlight the heck out of my face or whatever, 
people do not notice that kind of stuff. What they notice are your eyes. This has been my analysis of me wear, wearing makeup. It's, it's what I've noticed. So yeah. All right. So now we're gonna get into the eyeshadows. And I'm gonna go with my Morphe, the M350. Whoa, can you see it? So the M350. And ooh, I always keep the protective skin, the protective tape, but here she is. All beautiful, all neutrals, naturals. Ooh, you can tell which ones I use the most. <laughs> Uh, yeah. All right, now I'm, because I didn't wash my makeup brushes, um, they work better. That's like my trick. Don't wash your makeup brushes until you need to. I know you, you should do it all the time, but I don't. Judge me if you will. I feel like it just like goes on my eyelid better. I don't know, there's already color on it, so it's like, oh, I'm gonna work more with you. I don't know. I always use Morphe, um, little brushes as well. This one is the M441, and I pretty much use it for everything. So I go into this little top one, it is the lightest color, and I just set the concealer. So instead of using, I mean you could probably use the translucent, translucent powder, but I don't even tap any excess off, I just go right in it. It's all gonna get covered anyway, it's just to set the concealer, so beautiful. Next, I go into this yellowy color. It's a beautiful yellow color. And I don't tap any of this off either, the excess. I just let it fall onto my face. Actually, this is a really good palette. All the, the um, I just tapped it off. <laughs> All of the uh, Morphe palettes are absolutely incredible. So basically what I do is I just windshield a wiper motion this and then circles on the eye. Just bringing all of this up here so that you get that gradient effect that you will see later on. You're not gonna see it now. You're just gonna have to trust me. And I'm just trusting in the Lord. <laughs> that this all goes per perfect because <laughs> honestly I get a different look every single time I swear to god it looks the same but it's different all right I'm gonna do the other eye and be right back okay so the next one I go into is this greeny color I actually just started using this color too and I do tap off for that one so just a couple times right on the side I get it all over my leg all over the floor you know why I clean and I just go into the crease with it and it's just really what you're trying to do is deepen the crease and make it really like see the difference between this eye and this eye how like this eye is a little bit lighter and you can there's no like depth to it Whereas once you start adding that green and that darker color, those darker colors, um, it's really adding depth to the eye. So it's just windshield wiper motions, nice and light. You don't need to like, it's just nice and light. And then again, circles, bringing those colors up blending them beautifully blending 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 if there's anything i need to teach you about eyeshadow is blend those harsh lines let me tell you and i go right up and i just go right up to that eyebrow it doesn't actually go up to the eyebrow like you can see it doesn't actually go up to the eyebrow but and yeah, that's color number two. I'm gonna do the other eye. Be right back. All right, so next I'm gonna go into this like brownie, reddy kind of color down here. And I am gonna tap off a little bit just because it is a little bit deeper. 
And this is actually um, the last color I use for your big sister's closet. So I do everything up to this point. So if you see me on Fridays, this is kind of what I do. And see how much deeper and darker and more depth and dimension this gives your eye. Like, I don't know why I'm doing both eyes right now. I'm supposed to be focusing on one. My bad. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to focus on this side. <laughs> and then again, it's just, you can see like the harsh lines there. So basically, that's what blending does. Is this going to get rid of all of that? It's going to bring that nice, deep, dark color. And just blend it beautifully and radiate, radiant color it. <laughs> Y'all, me with English, I'm telling ya. I promise I am smart. I know what I'm talking about, I just don't know the words to use what I'm talking about. Yep, that's what I'm gonna go with. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, this is so pretty. And it's just blending. That's all. Blend. Blend. Blend, blend, blend. So I'm going to leave that one at that because I'm going to make it even darker. So I'm going to do the other eye now. Off camera. <laughs> Alright, so now both eyes are done. You can see a little bit of fallout under here, which I'm going to help you get rid of later on. Because you don't need to do it now. But... Um, I'm gonna make this even darker, so I'm going to close this palette. We're gonna open another one that has the perfect shade of brown. It is called the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette. Um, she is also a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful palette. Oh, I just love her. Check her out. Check her out. She's got neutral shades. She's got the yellow. Um, she doesn't have the green that I use. She's got like the darker reds. These browns though. Oh, you can't even see. These browns though are what I use. Just this bottom corner. I mean, I use all of it. I'm probably going to use um, this beautiful red because Looks like I'm wearing a red dress tonight, so I'm probably gonna dabble into that for my lid. So, prepare yourself. For um, okay, so I'm gonna go into this, I know we cut, eh, this color right there. The second from the bottom, on the right hand side, when you're looking at it. Again, using the same brush. I'm just going to dab it in this corner here. And I'm just going to like, I'm just like pulling it in to where I want it instead of just being like, Brah! and then having to like delete it because it's really hard to take away makeup. It is so much easier adding makeup than it is taking it away. Taking it away, you start over. Let's be real. It's makeup. All right, so I'll get it to about like a third of my eye and then I deepen it. So going into that same color and doing the exact same thing. Just pulling it in to the third there. Sorry, my mirror is down here, so I am looking down here because um, I need to see. I need to see what I'm doing. Now the sun is like coming out of the building, so I'm gonna be real bright. Right like the diamond I am. Okay, so um, now I'm just, like without cleaning a brush or anything like that, I'm just going and deepening the crease and staying in the crease. I'm not gonna like bring it up yet. I'm just gonna deepen that crease. And I always like to look down too when I'm doing my makeup just because like I want to be able to see the the whole eye 
So I like look down and I go right in that crease. So like where your eyeball is, I just go around my eyeball. If you don't know what a crease is, it's your eyeball. It's where your eye crease is, around your eyeball. <laughs> I just like saying eyeball. All right. Ooh, that is a beautiful color. Y'all, see how much deeper it is over here? I know you need to like, ex deeper it is. Some people put tape underneath and all that kind of stuff, but I like to work with the mess. Gotta work with the chaos. Don't prevent the chaos. Chaos is what makes you grow. Motivational tip number one. Hmm. Okay. So that is that eye. And I'm it it's still really messy. Don't worry, we'll deal with it in a second. But I'm gonna do the other eye and then we're gonna play. Alright. <laughs> My heart back. Okay, so both eyes are deepened. We're gonna go a step even darker and we're gonna go with this brown color right here. I'm just gonna go into it. Tap off. This is where you tap off because you don't want this fallout. Mm -mm. All right, so you're doing the exact same thing. You're going from the outside in, and it gets nice and dark. And I just like stick that to the outside edges. And I am going to do this the other eye on camera just because I'm going to be going back and forth and just making sure that it all looks even. This is like making my eyes look super blue today. My eyes are like naturally green, but sometimes depending on, I don't even know, probably my attitude. I'm super happy today. So maybe like blue eyes mean because like when you see my eyes are like super green, you know there's something happening. Sometimes it's a good thing. Sometimes I'm just fierce. All right, so we've made our point. Oof. So what I'm doing now is I'm looking at both eyes and this eye you can see looks a little bit darker than this eye. So I'm going to darken this eye. Um, this eye, it comes in a little bit more than this eye. So I'm really just going to focus on getting this eye a little bit deeper, a little bit darker. Yeah, just like that, just like that. So I'm just balancing. Got a strong core, so you gotta balance. Oof, who is she? Who is she? See how it looks semi-even? Great. Now, I'm gonna do what I said I don't do. I'm gonna wash my brush. Uh, I use a Sephora Cleanup Nice. Do I like it? Nope. This one smells like it's a really strong scent. This is actually my favorite one, but I need to use up this one, this one first. So this is actually my favorite one. It is the Sephora uh, Cleanup Nice um, Daily Brush Cleaner. It's This is the good one. And it comes in a bigger package. I thought that this would be the same. They didn't have the big one when I needed it. So I thought this would be the same. It's not, it's like super scented. It's almost done. Just needs to run its course now. So I'm just, I just squirt some of that on and I just remove the makeup. Great. So this is only when I'm doing like a super deep smoky eye do I do this. So now I'm going to let my brush settle into that. And while that is drying, 
I actually go and I do my under eye. I have systems for everything. So I'm going back into the Morphe M350 palette. And I'm going right into this, the deepest color that we used in this palette. And I'm just, I'm using the Morphe uh, E18. It just looks like this. Oh. Just everything just wants to focus on me. So I'm sorry, I'll take my face away. This is what it kind of looks like. And I like make funny faces. <laughs> and I go whoop. And just the key to a smoky eye is smoke out the bottom eyelash. Tammy, I remember that you told me that. Tammy was um, a makeup artist that I collaborated with a lot in Saskatoon. She is incredibly talented, such a beautiful person. Highly re recommend her if you're in Saskatoon, give her a call. Um, she is so incredibly talented and that was three years ago so you can only imagine I've come a long way in three years so I can only imagine tell me what you do um, and this was her trick to me is to make sure that you smoke out the bottom eye and it works every time so I'm gonna quickly do the other side and I'll be right back so both eyes have the lighter color now we go back into the Jaclyn Hill palette. That's right, are you guys catching on to what I'm doing? Yeah, you are. So I go into the lighter brown that I used after the ready brown, and I do the same thing. And this is, the reason I'm doing this is so that it matches the colors I've got going on up here. I do not add the yellow, you can, but I'm really just smoking out the eye, so I have never seen a point of doing like the whole thing underneath. I'm gonna do both on camera. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. One eye always turns out so much nicer than the other. It's this eye. <laughs> Maybe because this one's on, this one I feel like is playing shy with you guys and is like, I can't do it on camera. And this eye's like, ha 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 She's doing me on the side. Doing me on the, no. No, we're not gonna go there. I'm gonna stick to this depth. Um, you can go in. I am gonna be um, putting eyeliner on underneath. You can go into the darker brown. I'm not going to. Today, I'm gonna stick with this. Blah. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Okay, so now I'm going to my dry brush. And what I'm doing, without putting any product on, I'm blending. Just getting rid of all of those harsh lines that I created with a clean brush. And it helps that to like make sure that this dark stays where I want it to stay. And doesn't go everywhere. It's just about blending at this point and putting all of these colors so beautifully together. Do, 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 do. and it's like right here I can see this line and that is what I that is what is like a harsh line oh you can see how messy I've been Whew. all right you can see like right there and right here don't worry we'll clean her up you'll be beautiful too beautiful eye all right so without this and this <laughs> you can see how blended everything is it's all gradient it's beautiful whereas this eye has not been blended yet 
so you still see very harsh lines which it looks fine like it looks real good but um, I'm gonna blend it so what I do is I just take my brush and I um, on a paper towel I just like it's nothing fancy I don't put any more um, of the makeup remover on it I just like do that on it like on the sheet yeah okay and we're gonna go in and I'm gonna do this online online on camera as well just let you guys get a good sense of what I'm doing it's just blending this eye is so pretty oh, oh. like it did everything that I asked it to do like I don't hardly need to blend and I just go in like circular motions I mean you guys have been watching that so um, yeah it is so pretty I'm just obsessed right now okay wow wow I did this This is exciting. Oh, jeez, I'm a crazy lady. All the crazy ladies, all the crazy ladies, all the crazy, I feel. <laughs> Chair squeaks. It's not, I'm not single, so I'm gonna make it crazy ladies. Cause I feel like, let's be real. Marriage is crazy. It is a nut. Yeah. Okay. So basically what I'm going to do right now is clean up. So like in here, there's like a little bit of makeup here. I just like see how much of it I can brush away with my beauty blender. Just, and I go under here, see how much of it I can brush away just with my beauty blender. And then if it doesn't go away, like on this side, uh, you can take sharp tape. I'm gonna do that every time. Hmm. Every time. It's now gonna be called sharp tape. Uh, but first, I actually forgot. I gotta do my lid, which I actually need something else for. All right. So with some luck, or not? Um, yeah. It. So my camera died. So I actually like, this is how early I was starting to get ready is I had time to charge part of my camera and then um, yeah, now I'm back. So if you see that it's darker, it's because there's like clouds outside and stuff. <sighs> Anywho, okay, um, something happened between uh, the last time I started filming and right now, I received my Fashion Nova in the mail and there's a dress that I think I'm gonna wear because it's like not Christmassy, like the red dress that I was gonna wear. Like the red dress is like red and sparkly and like super Christmassy. This one, it's not. It's just a beautiful sparkly dress. And so I feel like, I feel like I'm gonna go and I'm gonna wear that one. It's either that or I, I have a pink one as well. So um, I needed to dry the pink one and like get the wrinkles out of it. So yeah, uh, this changes stuff for my eyes. Cause I was gonna go red, cause it's a red dress. But one is like blue and one is pink. So I think I might just go neutral on the eyes and just let the dresses speak for themselves. Cause I don't know which one I'm gonna wear. It's gonna be one of those two, I know that. And I know that if you follow me on Instagram and you voted, I'm sorry. It was unexpected. I did not expect to receive Fashion Nova today. I literally ordered it two days ago. So I was not, I was expecting it like on Monday. Usually it does not come this quick. So I am like super blown away by Fashion Nova right now. Just saying, just saying. Okay, I gotta finish my eyes. So um, we did all that. Da, 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 da. We're working with this little Mac 233. Um, we're gonna go into the red, but seeing as I'm not doing that look anymore, I might do, oh, now I need to make decisions. 
and decisions are not my best friend. You guys seen that on Instagram. I think I might um, just go with like a more neutral. So I'm gonna go into the red again. Still, I guess. And I'm just gonna dab it on my eye. And I don't actually tap off. All right, so. Okay, beautiful. And I just like pat it and just like, like that. <laughs> My mind is like completely gone now, you guys. Here I was like, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna do all the, and I'm glad that I actually, you know what, my battery died for a reason. Because Fashion Nova was coming and I had no idea that it was gonna arrive today. So, thank you Fashion Nova for arriving today. I appreciate that. So I think I'm gonna actually um, dabble into this one that I've used before in the past and just add like a little bit of sparkle to my eye. If I wore the blue dress, I could totally go with the blue. I feel like that might be too hard to get off at the end of the night and I gotta do your big sister's closet tomorrow. Actually, that's a pretty color. I'm gonna change my mind. See what I mean? <laughs> See what I mean? Okay, I am gonna go into this color right there. I feel like that's a really pretty color and feel like it's neutral enough um, that no matter what dress I wear, it's gonna look good. Uh -huh. Okay, so I need to find the brush I always use. It's like a little bit brush right here. This is actually from um, the Naked 3 palette. They had it in Naked 2 and Naked 3, so I have two of them because I have both palettes. Uh, so yeah, they're great. And I use this like little flat end up here for um, putting on my sparkly colors. So basically what I do is I grab my MAC um, Fix Plus and I spray both sides and I make sure it's nice and wet. And this is to help fall out. So like when you're working with um, sparkly colors, you always get a lot of fallout. So you just grab some product and you put it on your eye. It also helps pop these sparkly colors. Like it helps the colors pop. And you just Place it on the eye up to where you have. Sorry, I need to think when I'm doing this. Up to where you have the dark on the outside. I just will blend it in a little bit there, and then you go and use, and then you go and use the other side, which is also wet, and you do the other eye. And it honestly, it is like night and day when it comes to fallout. Like you get like no fallout this way. And it makes the sparkle pop, like I said. So I highly, highly, highly re recommend using a setting spray. MAC Fix Plus, I always use for it. I don't know why, like I have other setting sprays, maybe because it's cheaper than the other setting spray that I have. But there. Beautiful. It's starting to snow outside. All right. So now that I'm gonna like, I'm gonna leave my eyes at that because my camera's dying. And so I'm gonna go into contouring and then I still have to put eyeliner on, mascara uh, in that order and then lashes. So if I don't get to that, it, it I still have to do that to my eye. But we're gonna work on the fallout because you see there is still a little bit of fallout. So I grab the Tarte Shape Tape. I said it. I think I said Tarte Shape Tape. I might have said Shard again. I, I really don't even know. And you just carve out that line. And I'm gonna put a little bit right here 
because I got a little bit of product there. So I'm gonna do it on both sides. You want both sides to be even. I don't know why my nose is running. I better go chase it. <laughs> um, and then you grab your beauty blender and make that a nice crisp line. And all the way underneath the eye. Beauty blender, nice crisp line. And you just blend it up. Beautiful. No more fallout. This chair is really squeaky. It's kind of awkward. All right, so now we're gonna go into contour. I'm gonna use the Tarte um, really old palette. It's called the Clay Play. It smells like chocolate. <laughs> Yes. Do not eat the makeup. I'm sure that you could, but don't. I don't think it would taste very good. I don't know. Let me know. If you want to try, don't do it. Weird. Okay, I'm, I just go into this like darker shade and I carve out. My nose is driving me crazy. Carve out. Because this is so dark, I just keep it up here again I just keep it up here because I go in with a lighter color to bring it in and that's just to draw a little bit of definition because you want back here to be a little bit darker beautiful now this is like so old and I still got the protector. I don't know if you're supposed to do it like that, but I don't follow the rules anyway. I don't make rules, I break them. Break them, break them, break them. Okay, and then um, I do Hula Beauty. Come on, focus. There we go. Bronzer uh, in the shade this one. I know that there's two. It's the lighter one that I'm using. Looks like that. Yay. All right. And I just like go in, tap it off, start at the top, bring it down. And I go like side to side, deepening both sides evenly if possible and you just make it darker always start on the opposite side as the last time so that it is even like that get the forehead you don't want to come too far down on the forehead just around the cusp you want the center of your face to be nice and bright it's just, and you just blend it out. I will go in with um, the other side. See, I have two. The other side of the one that you put the sparkles on with, it has like a thicker side. And I'll carve my nose. Badoonch, badoonch. And I'm just going along the side of my nose. And then I just do that, and then I just get a little bit of product on the side. All right, you could also use a beauty blender. Just really carve that nose, beauty. If you want, you don't have to carve your nose. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But what I do always do is carve my face. So just go along. I push my ch chin out all the way. All the way. Just be real mad. And I just go along my jawline. And then from there, I go down and I get all of it. I just color it all in. It's like you just trace the outline and you just go and you color it. I 
It just gives like more focus to your face. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Ooh. Ooh. I look, I feel like I look really pale on here. And when I look here, I don't look that pale. So this natural lighting on this camera, the setting might be a little bit bright. I'm thinking, maybe. Y'all are gonna see an after picture anyway. I always kiss myself in the mirror, like I blow, blow myself a kiss. So yay. So there's that, and then I'm gonna add some blush, which I have a Dior blush. I know, bougie, right? Um, in the shade Ro Rouge blush? Rougey, bougie. And I just go in with the same brush unwashed as my bronzer i find that that um actually helps them blend together so i just like smile <laughs> and i just go like this <laughs> i know i'm like making fun of this now but i am running shorter on time so i'm like let's pick up the pace Caddy. just gives it a little bit of color i don't like super pinky color on my cheeks. I just like a little bit of color. And I see that things aren't completely, I'm gonna quickly wash this brush. Things aren't completely like blended on my face. So I am gonna do that, but I'm gonna wash my brush first. And while it's drying, I'm gonna do my eyes. <laughs> All right. So, Eyeliner, Kat Von D, tattoo eyeliner, do, 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 do. this is it. Um, I know that there was a bunch of like uh, controversy about her eyeliner. I guess like she made the same amount of product in the smaller one than she did in the bigger one and yet she was still charging more for the bigger one. I don't deal with controversy, I go with what I like. And I do like it, it is one of the best. If you guys have a better eyeliner, let me know. I'll try it out. Okay, so I'm gonna try and do this on camera and on here as well. Ooh, I'm usually like up against a wall and I'm like, Arr. so uh, Lord, please let this eyeliner go on just how I like it, amen, amen. Okay, so I just start in the inner corner and I draw a line. Ooh, this is so hard. Draw a line. And then I go to the outer corner and I wing it. So that's what the first step looks like. Come on, focus. That's what the first step looks like. And then from the end of... Oh, I'm gonna do this. Okay, let's see. Move. Okay, sorry. Can you tell I'm uncomfortable right now? Okay. Ooh, I did it! Y'all, I did it! Okay, so just like that. And then, just, did I do it right? Just like that. And then, you know what we do? We just play color in. Go back to grade one. And I just color it in. Nice and slow. Do not want your coloring to go outside the line. Even though it gets colored or covered. Especially out here, it's so much harder. Ooh, who is she? Mm. Yes, ma'am. That's exciting. So this is what it looks like. 
who is she? Sorry, I just smizzed. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye off camera because <laughs> it's easier. I'll be right back. Okay, so I put on my um, mascara and the other eyeliner. So mascara, I use Benefit Roller Lash. It's a great one, I've had it for years. I've tried a bunch of different ones and I just like the way this one looks so far. If you have another mascara you want me to use, let me know and I'll try it out. Okay, so um, now that this brush is dry, I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna blend everything. Just like I did with my eye, I'm just gonna blend it all. Blend. Blending, blending in the camp house when it is snowing, even though it's not in the camp house. All right. Especially along here, you want this double chin just to be all blended. <laughs> She looking fierce. I like it. I like it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's add some highlight. And then uh, my lips. For my lips today, I use, I'm going to use um, this Stark Naked by Urban Decay with uh, Marc Jacobs uh, Strange Magic. Looks like this beautiful color just nice nude I'm all about the nudes and um, maybe. and then I typically top it off with this uh, clear that's not so clear um, gloss that's that uh, gotta get some lashes on, which I always use um, Batty B lashes. They are the best. I think I use uh, hashtag sugar baby. Um, and I would show you how to put lashes on, but <laughs> you know, I need to be like this far away from, it's kind of like my eyeliner. It's really, really hard. And with it being glue, I don't wanna like mess it up. So I'm not gonna do that on camera because I want to do it properly and I feel like there are so many people out there who will give you a good eyelash put on tutorial better than me so sorry so <laughs> I actually got this highlighter when I was in Indonesia it was like two dollars and let me tell you she pops so I use uh, this one is Pro Contour by Sephora and I just It like she actually like really pops You just wait for this Ooh. Yep You don't need much of it You just blend her out What's it? <laughs> I know I keep on looking at myself, I'm sorry. I should be looking at the camera, but this is my first time using the camera when I'm filming. Like usually I'm looking at the phone, which I'm looking at myself on the phone, you know, because, but now I'm like looking at the viewfinder and it's not really looking at the camera. So I'm sorry, uh, I will try and do better next time. Mm -hmm. I will, I promise. All right, let's get that pop. Ooh. Like literally for a $2 highlighter, it's like one of my faves. And I just go and I get like above the eyelash. Oof. My eyelashes, or eyebrows, not eyelashes. My eyebrows are actually, um, um, powder brows and so they are tattooed on so I don't really need to like if I want to darken them sometimes I do 
but I'm not going to today. And then for the highlight, we're going to go oof, on the nose. The tip, just like you did with the concealer. Get the Cupid's bow. And down here. And I don't do my forehead because I sweat. So, um... I let the sweat glisten my forehead. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Look at my makeup, you guys. Ah! This is so pretty. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry that this is day two makeup. I was in a hurry yesterday, so I threw on the lashes, threw on the uh, lip stick and I headed out the door but it still looks fire even on day two so this was like the finished look you guys seen it on my Instagram uh, would it look like fresh it looked a lot better but this still looks pretty good I was super impressed so many people complimented me on my makeup that night so get the palettes do the thing be beautiful love you guys Mwah.